This box has three red marbles and five blue ones. And two marbles are drawn at random. Yes, two marbles are drawn from these eight. What is the probability that both of them are red? We have seen a similar example earlier. Pause the video and think about how you could approach this problem. If you are confused, then that's good. Because there are two possibilities here. Let's understand the first one. We pick one marble and then pick another one. We pick and pick. What is the second possibility? We pick one marble, we place it back and then pick another one. Yes, pick, replace, pick. These are the two ways in which two marbles can be drawn. Let's understand the first one. We pick one marble first. What is the probability that it is red? There are three red marbles and a total of eight marbles. So the probability of the first marble picked being red will be three over eight. Three red marbles and eight in total. Now one red marble is picked. What is the probability of the second one being red? Look at what's remaining in the box. Two red marbles and seven in total. So we multiply this with 2 over 7. Why did we multiply? Because there is an AND here. We pick and pick. Probability of A and B is equal to the probability of A multiplied by the probability of B given A has already happened. This is the probability of picking a red marble. And this is the probability of picking a red marble after having picked one. Now let's move on to the second case of pick, replace, pick. What is the probability of picking a red marble first? Three red ones out of a total of eight. Three over eight. Now that a red marble is put back in, what is the probability of picking a red marble again? It's the same. Three red marbles out of a total of eight marbles. Three over eight. We can clearly see the difference. In the first case, the second event is dependent on the first one. And in the second case, the second event is independent of the first one. Now some of you might be wondering about the third case of picking two marbles simultaneously. Just think about it for a moment. Won't it be the same as the first case? Pick and pick without replacement? Picking two marbles simultaneously might look different from picking two marbles one after the other but the outcome will be the same. This will be the probability for both. So we can write simultaneously under pick and pick. They are essentially the same. Now if you have studied permutations and combinations, there is another way in which we can look at this probability. We have to find the numerator and the denominator. The denominator will have all the possible outcomes. Picking any two out of the possible eight, it will be selecting any two out of eight, eight C2. And in the numerator, we will have all the favorable outcomes. As both have to be red, they have to be selected from these three red ones only. Selecting two out of three or three C2. This will also give us three over 28 as the probability, which is the same as this one. So unless specifically mentioned, these are the two cases we have to consider when two things are to be picked from a set of n things. With the same data given, what would be the probability of both marbles being drawn being of the same color? We will see the solution in the next part of the session.